Italian and Jewish, it's for Klimt. And that's when you're kind of weepy and you can hardly talk. This is one of those moments. But congratulations to the Father, Father's Day Council and to all of these exceptional gentlemen who we are honoring tonight. Thank you, Dr. Bishan, for your golden heart and for all of the accomplishment, accomplished works your team at Steel Research Center. I could introduce Stu Mellon, my husband, and the father of our five children and two grandsons, by saying that all of the challenges and joys of his family life have empowered his caring leadership in his work in the nonprofit world. Or I could say that the challenges and joys of his professional career have empowered the wisdom of his parenting. But the truth is that Stu Mellon was born under a very special star. Yes, he is caring and wise. And Stu is a deep listener calm force, a creative problem solver, and a loving spirit dedicated to bringing about tikkun, repair and healing to his family and to his community. And so it is with great love and great pride that I, on behalf of our children, Jamie, Micah, Laura, Eric, Jonah, Suki, and Dimitri, and our two grandsons, Sid and Henson. Introduce Stu Mellon, our Father of the Year this year and always. son's banjo in the background, that's how they kept it a secret from me. Um, it's a bit overwhelming to be here with all of you, and it's definitely overwhelming to be up here. Those of you who see me in my work, you know that I'm usually the one pacing nervously in the back of the room, listening to everyone else uh, prepare the remarks, or present the remarks that I've helped to prepare, and here I am in this place. Uh, but I'm very touched to be here and very honored to be with you gentlemen. Uh, having attended this event many times over the years, I'm always appreciate, appreciative of the diversity that the award winners represent, and I'm very honored to represent this short, portly, bald uh, <laughs> demographic today. So thank you. It's inspiring to be part of this vitally important work. Dr. Gishan, I so appreciated the tour you gave us. You presented us with a lot of information, but the one thing that stuck with me was your dietary advice. You said, stay away from red meat and drink good red wine. And, and you emphasized the good, which says a lot about you because not only you're a man of science, but you're a man who embraces the joy of life, and that makes you the remarkable person you are, and you inspire us all, so thank you so much. As, as to being a father of the year, I have, after all, raised five kids who are only six years apart, which I would have to agree does make me deserving of an award of some kind. As to my worthiness from the point of view of the excellence of my parents, thing, not so much. Uh, as you heard, I, I concluded that I was very flexible and adaptable, but to a fault, and way too much of, a, 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 of an advice giver as was verified by my family. But all my five kids and my son-in-law and daughter-in-law are here today, along with my grandsons, Sydney and Henson, who made it through the evening. Awesome, thank you. So I guess I, I really uh, must have done something right, so thank you. Here, I love you guys dearly. I'm so proud of you. You're compassionate human beings. You succeed in life in the most important ways, and I love you. 
As to parenting five kids, mostly I'm proud that I survived. Um, for that, I have to thank my amazing life partner, Nancy. Uh, Nancy and I were doubly blessed, having both been in loving marriages that ended too soon, and then finding love again in each other. It's been a bumpy ride, but thankfully Nancy brings a, per a perspective that as she, she has said, emphasizes and embraces the joy and not the oil. <laughs> when Nancy was interviewed in response to the award, she was quoted as follows. Together, Stu and I have braved the adventure of this blended family, including holiday tables that rival the look of a stretch limo, and the stumbles and celebrations of what it takes for five kids and two parents to grow up. She added that we have tried to put all of this into context with the use of one word, abundance. Abundance indeed. When I married Nancy, I became blessed with three mother-in-laws. My first wife's mom, Nancy's first husband's mom, and Nancy's mom. Some would call three mother-in-laws overwhelming, mind-boggling. Nancy would call it abundance. <laughs> When Nancy set a beautiful table for our first Friday night Shabbat dinner together, I still remember that it was not the peaceful meal I would have hoped for. It was noisy and messy, with each of the five kids out shouting each other and vying for tensions. Some would call that tumultuous, chaotic, but Nancy would call it abundance. <laughs> and so it has been for almost 27 years now. I have been blessed with community work I love, with incredible community partners, I see my peeps out here, thank you so much, who are so devoted to the Jewish value of tikkun olam to repair the world. The work and the amazing people who participate with me has helped give my life meaning. And so there is much to be grateful for, my work, my amazing family, and a beautiful life partner who always reminds me to embrace the joy and not the oil. Abundance indeed. Thank you so much.